Locke gets the sign. 1-1 on its way. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. So two balls and two strikes now. Still two and two. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Sox get three thanks to this three-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 3-0 Pale Hose. Leading off the inning, David Freeze, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Baseman number seven, David Freeze. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. Eaton is back and he reaches up to put it away for a long out number one. And right here you've got the right fielder shading just a bit towards the alley. And I thought he'd have too far to go to get this ball, but he does close quickly out there and he makes the play near the line. Here's Matt Joyce now. Now the second pitch of the inning is hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Cervelli. Francisco Cervelli into the box here in the top of the second, looking to keep this inning going. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And Abreu will make the play, and that ends the inning in order go the Pirates still down three nothing Justin Morneau strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning and they jumped out to that early lead so now it's all about just adding on Number 26 will come on defensively now as he takes over at second. Now playing second base, number 26. Locks ready. First pitch on the way. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. Batting eight. Catcher. Deonor. Deonor Navarro comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off and he'll get another chance. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Well, you know, when you're behind an account like this, it's all about changing your approach at the plate. you got to shorten up a little bit and just look to put the ball in play. Grounded to third. Freeze is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting ninth. Center fielder, J.B. J.B. Shuck. Gets his first chance here, looking to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. And he takes ball one. Two out, nobody on. Two and oh. And with two away here, this is not the time to lose the strike zone. Especially not to a number nine hitter. The last thing you want to do is turn this lineup over and give these guys a shot to make something out of this inning after all. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You really wasted a lot of bullets on a guy that you should get out fairly quickly. Got to go right after him. Get him out of here. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Number 12. Number 12 stands in as he looks at a called strike. Already 40 pitches now here in the first few innings. Yeah, and at this point in the game, he's going to have to start pitching to contact a little bit more or else he may not make it five One innings. Ball. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Hit on the ground to short. Scooped up. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. 
Well, this one's going to go as an infield the single, and it keeps the inning rolling right here. Adam now, as you Eaton. see, he tries to rush this ball over to second base, hoping to get the force, but it's going to get there just a little bit too late, and everybody's safe. Adam Eaton started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0-1. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Jose Abreu gets a shot now with deuces all around. Two on, two out here in inning number two. Now here's Clint Hurdle out of the Pittsburgh dugout on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart early here this afternoon as he just You're never got into any kind of groove out there. The John Neese. Nice is going Number to come 18. on now here in just the second John. inning, so he'll likely be asked to work a few innings here. Out in front of it, strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Boy, things are going from bad to worse so far. He's looking completely lost up there. Marte is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. White Sox pick up just the one. We played two. Back at U.S. Cellular on the south side as you get a nice look at the Chicago skyline from above the shores of Lake Michigan. Jung Ho Gong will stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. And it looks like he'll have extra bases here to begin the third. He'll take the turn and head for second. And a very quick start to the inning here. It's a first pitch double. Right center field. This is a fastball, and he just slashes this thing the other way into the gap. No real chance for the outfielders to cut that one off, and he's going to wind up on second with a leadoff double. Stepping in now, number 26. Swinging a soft liner, and that's in there. Base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a 4-1 game. Boy, that didn't take too long. You get a double on the first pitch of the inning, and then one pitch later, he's already heading back into the dugout after scoring a run. Just goes to show you that as a pitcher, your focus has to be there on every pitch or you'll get burned. Here's John Jason now. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. Trying to jump on that first pitch changeup. That's a good pitch there to start this A-B. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Mm. He did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. Sale sets. One, two on its way. And Jaso swings and misses as he's down on strikes for the first out. Starling Marte steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Yeah, it's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. Hit hard on the ground towards second. One there, on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We return to Chicago after this. Melky Cabrera digs into the box in the bottom and of inning number three. Left fielder, Melky Ripped Cabrera. down the first base line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1 and 1. And he'll fall behind now to 1 and 2. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Ready to deliver the one and two. Liner towards second.
third baseman number 21. Tom Let's take a look at all five pitches in this at bat. They get ahead with strike one, and then a good setup there that misses. And he fights one off to make it one and two. Then another yep, tough pitch that he fouls off, and finally, bang, he comes through on the fifth pitch of that no at bad. bat. Second baseman. Ready with the first Brett. pitch. Here it comes. Brett. Brett Laurie will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Squared that one up just a little late. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Grounded to the right. And that is in the right field, a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. And here's where, on the mound, you got to tell yourself, you did everything right there. This was an 0-2 pitch, and he did a great job of getting him to hit it on the ground. Just happens to find a hole on the right side. I mean, what are you going to do? Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Liner toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runners breaking from third. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Make it five to one. Well, he's going to wind up with an RBI on this ball. But I got to think that he was imagining extra bases after this ball left his back. It's a nice play out there in the alley to run it down. Here's the catcher, Deonor Navarro. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1-1. One and one. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Joyce has got it, and the side is retired. Sox get a run here on two hits. Three. Leading off the inning, Andrew McCutcheon. And they'll need him to get something going here. Well, you know, they've fallen behind by Andrew quite a bit in the McCutcheon. early going here, so they need a good inning here to get him back in the game. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. McCutcheon can motor. He's heading for third. And he is in there. You want to talk about throwing a pitcher out of his rhythm? This is the first pitch of the inning, and no one's going to run this thing down. So when the dust settles, this turns into a leadoff triple. Here's Gregory Polanco. High in the air and deep to left center field. Chuck ranging back. Still going back. Gone! So a two-run shot to left center, and it's a 5-3 game now. And this is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. 